Welcome again to a new tutorial video. This video will be covering how to add and replace skins in the PC version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. For more information about the topics in this video, check out the written version of this tutorial. Skins are the character's actual models that show up in game. They are found in the actors folder of the game files. Skins use a particular naming convention to identify which character they are used by. Their file names are either 4 or 5 digits long. For 4 digit long file names, the first two numbers are the character number and the last two are the skin number. A 5 digit long file name means that the character has a 3 digit long character number. To figure out a character's character number and skin numbers, you can check the hero stat entry. If you're using Open Hero Select, you can find these in the XML folder. If you're using XML BCUI, this can be found in the decompiled hero stat. The character number is referenced in a few places in the hero stat entry. It's always listed at the start of their animation file. Additionally, you can find it as the first two or three digits of their primary skin. The skin numbers are listed in the hero stat entry as well. The primary skin is referenced by its full file name, and the other skins are referenced by the last two numbers of the file name. As you can see, the skin number doesn't always line up with the order of the skins in the hero stat. A skin that ends in 04 can be the second skin for example. Skins in certain mods can have even higher numbers, ranging from 00 to 99. The easiest thing you can do with skins is replace them. To do this, simply take the new skin, rename it to the number of an existing one, and place it in the actors folder. To know which name to use, reference the hero stat entry. Combine the character number and the skin number to get the file name. When you add a skin, it's important to hex edit it. Doing so allows Arcade's robots to take the appearance of your character, and it also allows any skin changing powers to function correctly. There are several ways to hex edit skins, so we won't be covering them in this video, but the various methods are mentioned in the written tutorial. You can also change the skin's name in the hero stat entry if you'd like. In addition to the skin, you can also replace the skin's conversation portrait, which is also commonly called its HUD. These are the portraits that show which character you're controlling, as well as the ones that show up when you're engaged in a conversation. These portraits go in the HUD folder, and they always use the same name as the skin, just with HUD underscore head underscore before it. It's also possible to add new skins to a character. In the PC version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance, characters can have up to 6 skins. If your character already has 6 skins though, you can't add any more. To add skins, you first want to add a new line to the hero stat for that skin. Copy the format of the other skin references, but use a skin number that hasn't been used by your character or any NPCs. You can also give it a different name. Once you've added the reference to the hero stat, you can rename the skin you downloaded, hex edit it, and add it to the actors folder. You can also add the corresponding conversation portrait to the HUDs folder, and do it in a similar process to how you did when replacing the skins. There's one more step left now that's required when adding skins, which is to create new packages for the skin. Packages are the files that tie together all of a character's files, which allows them to function properly. Packages can be found in the Packages, Generated, Characters folder. Each skin has two packages that are actually used. Character name underscore skin number dot pkgb and character name underscore skin number underscore nc dot pkgb. To make new packages, you can copy existing packages for a character and then change the skin name and the file name. Then, decompile the packages of XMLBCUI or Raven formats and change all the references from the old skin number to the new skin number. If you're using Raven formats, you can also use the package cloner batch file to create new packages for your character. Place the existing files in a folder with this batch file and double click it. Then enter the last two numbers of the new skin and the package cloner will create new packages of the skin number. 
More details on this process can be found in the written tutorial. Remember that any time you change the hero stat to add a new skin or rename an existing one, you must start, start a, a new, new game. game. And that's how you replace and add skins on the PC version of Marvel Ultimate Alliance. If you have questions about the process, the written tutorial is the first place you'll want to check. If you have further questions, you're always welcome at our Discord server. We'd like to thank every single one of you for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, well, why not check out some of our other content too? Feel free to leave comments down below, but please do try to keep it civil. If you want to experience any mods shown off in our videos, check out and join our community over at www.marvelmods.com or our official Discord server. Links are in the description. See you all next time.